And here is President Obama pardoning two turkeys, popcorn and caramel earlier this afternoon. Now, pardoning has been a presidential power from the outset, but pardoning turkeys is a relatively new tradition. Obama has now pardoned 10 turkeys, but only 39 people, a record low. President Harry Truman pardoned or commutated 1,537 people by his sixth year in office, but there's no records of him pardoning any turkeys, though he did pal around with them. It was Ronald Reagan who officially pardoned the first turkey. Under his presidency, pardons and commutations started dropping significantly. Reagan only pardoned 313 people by his sixth year in office. But Barack Obama's 39 pardons and one commutation is a record low even for modern day presidents. Bill Clinton pardoned 77 and George W. Bush pardoned 99 by their sixth year in office. There are a few reasons for this. One is it's a political liability. Now, if the president were to pardon someone who committed a crime uh, after their release, the White House would have to take that responsibility. And this is what happened to former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee when, after he released convicted rapist Wayne Duman, the man proceeded to murder and rape other women. Now, another reason is because only the Department of Justice has the authority to review clemency petitions. Some say it's a conflict of interest to have the DOJ review petitions of the same people they prosecuted. And according to the Department of Justice, President Obama has received more than 10,000 clemency petitions. A large majority of them are people asking for early release from prison. But the Obama administration is looking for other ways to lessen the U.S. incarceration rate, which is the highest in the world. A good portion of these prisoners are behind bars for nonviolent drug related charges. Just in August of this year, Attorney General Eric Holder said the Department of Justice will no longer pursue mandatory minimum sentences for low level nonviolent drug offenders. And back in 2010, President Obama signed the Fair Sentencing Act. That reduced the disparity and penalties between crack and cocaine, which is another racially biased sentencing issue. Crack is just the crystal form of cocaine, but African Americans are far more likely to be convicted for crack than cocaine, which has severe less penalties. While President Obama has said, quote, we can't continue to incarcerate ourselves out of the drug crisis, the administration has not granted clemency to inmates that are still behind bars under the old crack cocaine laws. However, he has let the national turkeys walk free year after year. The pardon doesn't necessarily mean a long and prosperous life, though. Cobbler and Gobbler, the two turkeys who pardoned last year, both died within just a few months. In Washington, D.C., Perry and Boring, RT.